Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here with part 10 of my Sun Gen Let's Play for Total War Three Kingdoms. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. This is of course an hour special, so sit back, relax and enjoy an hour of Sun Gen action. So ping things up where we left them last time, we were just about to send Sun Tzu uh, west to reclaim the livestock farm. Now, we can't make it all the way there in one go, so I'm going to carefully just move through our territory, see if we can peel back the fog of war. I'd like to move off a little bit further. Can I move so that I am still able to ambush if I need 25%? I don't trust it. 29. Okay, so what's that army like? It is replenishing pretty darn quickly. And the garrison in there is already building up a fair bit. And that whole unit's coming in pretty fresh. I do have two trebuchets and these guys can form shield wall. Cavalry is not at full strength. Uh, we probably could go on in against them. Things are all there and night battles are going to change things. I can't attack this turn anyway, so I might as well go into ambush. Potentially, might better to wait until that army makes a move towards the small city or it tries to pull back. Then I can go in and then I can give chase them because I won't have lost too many units. But let's wait there. Army report. See our path was blocked. Skip through all those diplomacy messages because we went through them at the end of the last episode. We do need to recruit a new spot. Buy, but we don't have enough money for it right now. We've got to be pretty careful. I think we just need to expand out, not do any spies or anything like that just for a bit because we probably can't afford salaries and things like that at the moment. But we're going to go after what this copper mine. Although, it wasn't Leo Yao. He is an enemy's vassal now, isn't he? He is. Of course, he's probably gone. Charles. Yes, of course he is. Of course he is. Big boy Charles. Yeah, the reason why I bring, we don't have any treaties with him. The reason why I bring that up is because we now have a mission. Growing power unifies the south. We have a mission to take him out for more path of glory. So uh, that works out rather nicely for us. But um, let's move on in on that copper mine first. But well, there's his army. Um, I could just take the copper mine and then declare war on it. But let's see. Hmm. Let's keep pushing into the copper mine. We won't declare war on him just yet. That's a decisive victory. We can't actually demand surrender because there's no officers to demand surrender of. Okay, so we'll delegate that. 88 lost. Nice. Occupy. Oh, power increases to Marquis. Nice. Yeah, we won't attack him just yet. We'll probably pull back anyway. But we'll, uh, we'll wait for him to try and pull back and then maybe actually draw out the whole garrison of that city as well. And we can swing around, grab the salt mine, and we'll have the whole of the commandery. And that's a pretty nice one. Then there's this small town over here, and then the rest of them are all abandoned. So after that, we can... Well, we can either push north if we want to, or we bring Sun Jen back over this way. Although we're going to have Sun Chen Come of age soon. He'll leave my next army, but at the moment, economy not doing so good. Army upkeep, salary, building upkeep. And we've actually, now that we're uh, marquee, we've got another administrator position. But salary. Got to be careful about salary. Um, this guy would actually be a pretty decent one. Corruption, income all source administrator, commandery. What is this? Have we got oh, Grand Commandant? Commander in chief, Supreme Operational Oversight, and Mitchell I'd definitely make. Um, Show you that. Grand Excellency. Treasury and Overseas Development. What will... Put Lady Wu in there, actually. But new salary... Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty expensive. That does income from industry faction-wide. That's quite a nice one, though. But, I mean, his... His salary is huge. 1,154 right now. Can't really afford any of that. Yours 
Maybe just about. Income from all sources. That's the position of XPS. Plus 5% income. Construction costs. Income from industry. I'm going to pop him in for now. And I'm going to put him into Po Yang. Because we've got all that industry here. Yeah, salary's gone up. But he's... I mean, we can do some assignments. Let's do that. Because that will bring us some more money. Income from industry, Lady Wu, or 50 income from peasantry. Oh, I don't want that one. I want to... Oh, Yang. There we go. Yeah, he's in here. A decent amount of income from this spot. So let's boost that even further with income from industry. And what do you do? You do population growth reserves, income from commerce and silk. No, let's get... Uh, treasury... You can see Mandri's Commerce 1703. So can I sort by income? Commerce. So yeah, we want you in here for commerce. That should help rise things up a little bit. So that's all good. Uh, we can obviously appoint somebody else in, but I think that's going to cripple us income wise pop someone in there. I mean, oh, what is his? Well, his salary is 1,041. New salary, it'll go up 250. Yeah, let's, let's not pop anyone in there just yet. I don't think it's worth doing. Although, what's the, what's the actual effects? Recruitment costs. Yeah, no, if it was upkeep costs, maybe. Brand excellency, income from industry faction wide, that's plus 350 for a new salary. Industry's good, but it's not quite that good yet. So let's hold off on that. We need to get our income up. We also want to make sure that's in there. We can upgrade it again. That's upgrading, so we probably want to save. Actually, probably want to save our money so that we can upgrade the armor craftsman. Yeah, let's save the money then. And what's the... Just a, a copper vein, copper pits. Does it get us 500 or corruption reduction at that top level? Probably worth having that corruption reduction, I would imagine. Okay. Right, let's end the turn and see what Yuan Shu does at the farm. Xiong Ming wants peace. We need to give us that. Um, I'm going to reject that because it's still Han Empire territory. To be, to be fair, would consider that peace once once we've completed the conquest over here for uh, the salt mine. We gained loyal. Okay. I've got a bodyguard. Melee evasion, own retinue. That's not bad. Yeah, let's swap that over there. You're all not getting on with Cheng Pu, but keeping them together and fighting should hopefully help. Ooh, look at that. Income rises. Plus 100% income from commerce. 20% from industry. Nice. Actually, yeah, what's our... What income like? I think she has that. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. I think... Is it also the assignments are in there as well? We can now fine upgrade this, though. Because we've got the artisans. So, yeah, get that in there straight away. Because then we have a higher chance of getting sort of, you know, unique and exceptional armor. Right there. Plus the garrison goes through the freaking roof. You're still staying there. You're probably going to wait until you're a full stack army again. Um, fully replenish, I should say. Might be worth pulling you guys back so you replenish. Um... No, not too badly. We, we should be able to hold. I'll leave him there. 
how our supplies actually they're dropping be okay though can I chase you if I attack they can they can retreat still from that I'm pretty sure top mines garrison's not going to be enough to hold them off although you're attritioning or why I mean I could go after the salt mine first and that small town and then turn on you Yeah, you know what? Go on then. You might turn back that way though. You're technically trespassing through my lands all this time. Actually, don't need to replenish. We're already fully replenished. Let's just okay. Let's go. Let's go here because then we can decide if we're going to go to the town or the salt mine first. I grab the town, then I can just keep going north and swing back round. That's the best plan there. Okay, let's end the turn again. Sorry if I was kind of going a bit slower there. Oh. oh, he wants me to become his vassal. He will become the vassal. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, sorry if I was going a bit slow during that turn. I had my kitten jumping on me, and I was really carefully trying to move him off my keyboard so he didn't accidentally, like, stop the recording or press a button or something like that. Bless him. They've gone after Gongsun Du. Oh, the puppet Han Emperor captured. Coming to Leo Bay. Emperor has been captured once again. Now a mere pawn in a large conflict. Promise of the Emperor. You may annex Han Empire territory at the cost. He just vassalized the Han Empire. So they've gone to war with Chang Yan. Very nice. I don't know why it said that I could. Um... Vassalize. Uh... Or annex territory, rather. Ah, oh, but annoyingly, we're no longer at war with the Han Empire. That's a bit of a bother. But it's now Leo Bay that holds the Emperor. So yeah, he went over there and took it. So the Emperor... Does, it, does the Emperor now go... Yeah, goes over to his capital. Okay. I guess we forget about the salt mine for a moment. And go after Leo Yao. Instead, I'm not sure I want to go after Leo Bay just yet. Although, who's he at war with? Yellow Turbans, Yan, Ming. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's there. Uh, he's got quite a few allies. I mean, I'm probably at war with most of them. I'm at war with Gongshan Zan. That's that one. Sao Ang, I'm not, and I've... Yeah, we just got our piece there. Yuan Shu, obviously, at war with. Okay, right, that, yeah, that changes my plans a little bit. We're going to uh, turn around and go after these guys instead. So thanks for that little spanner in the works, uh, Leo Bay. That's uh, fun. It does mean that we potentially got an easier shot at taking the Emperor. If we were, we probably want to consolidate our territory here and then go for the Emperor. Just go for it. Just burst on through, or actually just sail on up, actually. Sail on up with Sun Jen, strike his city, take the Emperor, because then that will pull him back to our capital, I imagine. And then we can just annex all of this Han Empire territory. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That sounds like a plan. You guys are still staying there. Um, I need to stay there so I've got my vision, but we're not really making much progress here.
Meanwhile, that livestock farm is nearly fully, uh, nearly at full strength. Private workshops in there. We can't do that until it's tier four. We actually need to save our money. We've got a mission to overpopulation to build settlement administration. So if we just save our money for a turn, we'll be able to upgrade maybe two turns. Okay, right. End turn again. I should probably keep checking on the bandits. To see how they're doing their objectives. Oh, yes, the ambush. Huzzah! Finally, the Valiant Defeat, apparently. We will night battle because it gives us, uh, well, causes a morale penalty for the enemy army. This is going to be brilliant. Smash on into them. In we go. Oh, kitten's gone to sleep in its bed so uh, hopefully i can uh, i can focus more on playing this now that i'm not being jumped on every few seconds so far he hasn't slam dunked into my keyboard but if the camera ever does fly off in an odd direction get an attack he is the little tiger oh yeah this is gonna be great oh look the little lanterns i love it um right Trebs, flaming shot. Uh, best place for the Trebs. We want to fire down the line. Could have them right here and just blast straight into their faces. Got cavalry, we could have them protected by that unit. Probably need a little bit more than that. Um... Thinking I won't bother too much about the rear of the column. Leave them and we'll strike them in a minute. Let's just hammer this front section. I've just decided where I'm going to put my cavalry and some sir. Straight in there. Crossbows here, so you're well protected by the bulk of my forces. And same with you guys, although we'll have to turn around to deal with the rest of the line pretty quickly. That's where they, this is where they've got to get to as well if they want to escape, so kind of holding here seems like a decent idea. Let's get everyone into group attack mode. Firing up here. Have the sentinels battling it out. Oh. Trebs, fire on the Arch Militia. Swords, deal with them. Oh, 
你已杀了多少人？我想还不够吧。有趣啊！你又能鼓唇弄舌，又懂战场厮杀。And Lance is in you go. Big charge. Oh, he's absolutely slaughtered him. There we go. Oh, stabs in the stomach. Deng Fu has not been defeated. He was victorious. That's still a bug. Saying the wrong one has been defeated. Okay, Trebs. That is not good. Little bit of friendly fire there. Come Circle back. Cavalry, go, go, go. Oh, yes, cavalry. There we go. Got there in the end. Slow start. Actually, I'm kind of glad the Trebs were off fart wheel to start with because, um,. probably would have just fired into a load of my own units although we uh, managed to do that anyway thankfully we have victory we'll hit claim victory now 2108 remain that's enough for us to push on the farmland that is all good because again we have the treb so we can blast them down before they get close to my line capture anybody okay we wounded ping ying we didn't capture you guys because we had to defeat you oh a boat oh no here we go okay you could be employed be released or i could execute you for a clay warrior uh ambitious tranquil relentless uh i don't really want to execute you for that i'd rather have the 100 incomers Behind, as small as it is. Where is it? The left. I don't really want to employ you because I don't want to pay, lose a hundred. So just release you for now. Uh, replenishment seven or income. We'll go for replenishment. We lost 959. Wonder how much of that was there for any fire. Beep. Uh, we will recruit. They have 1,450 remaining. Okay, yeah, they're all going after Bandit King. And Dong Ming. Okay. Atung has gone after Liu Bei. Or rather, they've gone after the Han Empire. Sun Chen comes of age. A glorious day. A marked horse. Whoa. Keep the horse. From the ashes of the battlefield, a horse is brought before you. It belonged to the enemy general and he was seen to be killed by an unfortunate accident whilst riding it. Its skin dappled grey and on its head a small white dot. One of your advisors reels in horror stating that this horse is surely cursed and you should not take it. Uh, it looks awesome. I'm going to keep it. So 
legendary armor. Nice. Have we already got some? We've got a composite bow, though. And I know who I'm going to give that to. This guy. It was mounted fire while moving, and it was fire backwards. Boom. Going to be grand. Okay, can anyone take that horse? He's only, he's only got a red horse. Because St. Jen's already got a unique mount. Heavenly fire. Let's go for it. He's going to end up killing me. We get a better weapon for Sun Tzu soon as well. So yeah, he's now at war with Matung. Okay, right. Don't know where the army has gone, but we can go after farmland. Oh, it's right there. This is fine, because I can take it. We can do a night battle. Apparently, it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory. They're all attritioning. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to night battle decisive victory. We'll still fight it, though, to minimize casualties, because then we can take out that other army, but we'll occupy the farmland first. Um... So, yeah, can't demand surrender. In we go. Waited patiently for our moment to strike and reclaim the farm. Now get you to fire because you've got your bow. Take a look. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Horse archers. Yeah, we'll have you out here and flank on round. Some sir. Lead your cavalry on a strike. We go through the farmland though. All of you guys together. A shield wall line. Spacing on the cab. Crossbow's already firing. Awesome. Oh, smashed. If I had him on fire at will. Here comes the cavalry charge. In fact, artillery stop firing. Slam. Boom.
Just need to break them because it's a settlement battle. Take a look at his new horse. Should be the full break now. There we go. Lovely stuff. So we don't need to run any of them down because it's the farmland. Yeah, we <laughs> we did not lose many troops there because we had like 2,108, I think, after the ambush battle. And we've got 2,075. Okay, now a few more. We lost 207. Okay. A few, uh... Like... Oh, we took the replenishment, of course. Yeah, that's what did it. That's what boosted it. Uh, occupy. Oh, they're running away a little bit. We now obviously can't move. Not this turn, anyway. That's fine. That's right, we'll stand outside of it. Get ready to move. I just can't go back in if you can jump out of it. Um, That can upgrade now. That we're not going to upgrade that one. We're going to upgrade Oh Yang because then we can finally get the private workshops in there which give us a boost to industry. Ah, yes. What can you do? You can do income from peasantry. Well, I don't think we're quite ready to recruit you. Cavalry, oh, we could do it, but it, I mean, we could use you to then take the rice paddy over here and then start going after all of these, but you will need a, I would imagine at least a retinue with you, probably better at the moment. Well, we can definitely do that one now though, 17 food. Income from commerce at that line. Considering the commandery room, we definitely want the extra commerce income. So yeah, we want to go up that way. Yeah, we can take the hit to our food. Yeah, we won't we won't bring in Sun Chen just yet. As much as I want to. Perfect though, because we can attack you guys and draw out everyone in one go. Issue declaration. We don't have night battles. It'll be a Pyrrhic victory, but we would draw out their settlement garrison as well. Oh, all good. Right. Fight! Right, their reinforcements are coming in from over there, but not that great. This is their main force at the moment, at least. I've oh, got turtle and we've got square uh, circle. Beautiful. I love how you guys can all go far forward if we want to. Be like, come at us, bruh. Oh, look, they fixed turtle formation, maybe. I, I'm not getting that weird bug anymore. Huh. Yay! Unless it's kind of just fixed itself. Um, thing is, I can't put my my champion right here and duel them straight away. Actually, that's what I will do. I'll pop him right here, duel into their face. Um, ah, screw it. You know what? Let's have them right there and then.
cavalry over in the trees. Actually, I don't need anything on that flank. I don't think, anyway, because I'm deploying so far to the right. Jen, you'll lead the infantry. Ah, uh, he's gone for it straight away, yeah. Bring it on. Nice. Oh, you're going to absolutely slaughter him. Oh, that's danger close. Nearby fire. I should finish him off with another strike. Off his like cape suddenly caught on fire. Oh, there we go. And there's the snap. Oh, he just he just strangled one of them as well. He got a finishing move on them. Take down the sentinel as well. Bring him down. Oh, peppered by arrow fire. Nice! Down he goes. back on your mount. You can't really afford to duel anyone though. You've taken a fair bit of damage. Fine guy. You've done well. That's it. Slaughter all that remains. Run forward guys. Here come the reinforcements. Trees. 
Fire away, Trebs. We've only got a few shots left. I am going to decline that one. Finding that one, it says we'll beat him, but I'm not sure I want to risk it. Doesn't want to duel. Archers! Could go against him. Which he's a little bit weaker. Fury, though. Let's see how it looks in a little bit. We should have it. We should have it. Let's see. Oh, right through the stomach. There we go. Right, Wang Guy, you're retired from active dueling duty right now. Push through the middle. Flames of the Phoenix. Rather than into my own men. But we have victory. Claim it. Smashed him. Treb 518 kills. Cavalry 226. 339. Beautiful stuff. Oh! Skewered. We lost 872, they lost 2,260. He was killed. Ooh, legendary. Sentinel, that's a guard. Nothing valued steel. Uh, I mean, I've got Sentinels at the moment that are a higher level than you. 59 as well. I'm going to release you. Right, I can chase you again, which I think will bring out the rest of what's remains. Yeah, there we go. Decisive. And we will delegate. Slam. 
We have 17 remaining in the city. Uh, oh, no, that's it. They're, yeah, they're just straight down. Uh, occupy. Buff of glory. Huzzah! More public order, more income from peasantry. So, yeah, that takes, that gives another 500 income. The she uh, perish in battle. Oh, wow, they're all the way over here. So that's that's what takes us further south. That's why he's going all the way down there. Well, that will be for Sun Chen. They are destroyed. Ancillary's gained. Oh, we already got the bow. Experts leather. Rivals, yeah, well, he's he's still alive, though, isn't he? He's just into the wind somewhere. So, yeah, I guess we could declare war on the Han Empire, but I so it might be better just to sail once his army's replenished, and a couple of times, sail on round and sneak on in, like, sack and withdraw from the city, but or do we have to occupy the city to take the... Emperor. Hmm. Oh, capture it. So right. So I will have to take it. Then I could just. Then I could just demolish everything in it, and get a load of money that way. That could be fun. So I think that's our plan over there. Uh, we are upgrading things over here. We don't have. Oh, we are upgrading that one. Cool. I don't know if we've done that one or not. Um, how much are you earning us? Not a crazy amount. Um, yeah, I've been wondering what I should upgrade from you. Income from commerce, trade influence, and marketplace. We have that giving us commerce, but we're going to go for that building, aren't we? Well, this gives us peasantry income. Oh, that, oh, right, yeah, we're going to go to that one because that gives us commerce. Right, okay, in that case, yeah, that's fine. Agricultural buildings, reduction cost, so that would help with that one. That one helps with peasantry income, which boosts that one, and food production, which doesn't help that one, but it helps this one because this one gives us food, but we need a reform. We need that one. We've gone through these red ones retinue upkeep so yeah that's pretty good but for that I've got to go through all of that stuff and I've got to go for that one I'm going to grab this one next hereditary buku because we want minus two mustering turns that means we can get units pretty quickly so let's up God, none of them are really going to result in much of an increase. Income from commerce, 10% to 20%. Again, that's our only commerce production. Extra replenishment, not bad. Okay, we're trading this one over. Oh, actually, yeah. Cancel that construction. That will take sold on food market, food production sold on markets. That well, that won't hit our income here, I don't think. But that's not the one I want to do anyway. I want to upgrade it here because we've got this one producing us food, and we're six at the moment. I don't think it hits local food amount so let's just let's just try that hmm be quicker to try it here and it's cheaper as well okay no let's leave it in there and just see what happens in the meantime we will upgrade that 
have a little looky at diplomacy see if there's any deals trade agreements hello bandit queen trade yes please um oh i can create ah oh, i can create vassals damn well, the Han empire is tempted to trade <laughs> maybe I mean, we're going to be going after you soon so let's not do that Uh, I don't want to request support from her at the moment. Let's just get some extra income per turn to go along with this because it can help fund my Sun Chen army. Yeah, we'll go to... There we go. Thank you for all the trade. You guys are thinking about it, but that's it. Create Vassal, Sao Ang. But if we struck him again, we could probably break him. Come Vassal to Leo Bay. Nope. Yuan Chu wants peace. Um, It would mean we won't take out that army. And let's see what he's... um. We need to do not much. <laughs> Vassalize him. No. Oh, he's very poor. He can't give me any money. Wow. No ancillaries. Um... That's the case. I'm going to see where this army's going to go because we could always get a fair bit more money by just um, actually capturing some people from here. I wonder if he's stuck in my aura as well. Let's wait one more turn and see what happens. But whoa, that income now. Right, we'll definitely get some chain out next turn. Okay, Bandit Queen's forces have gone in and taken the large town. They need to deal with that army that's behind them, though. So I might need to give them some war targets to uh, help them out a little bit. Yeah, she's moved on it, all right. Ooh, yellow turbans going after his uh, capital. That's not good. He's in trouble. He's doing all right though. Let's just set them some new war targets. We're going after that iron mine next. I would say change target. To that army, please. You're meant to be targeting the iron mine. Looks like you're pulling back that way. I'll leave you doing your thing for now. Ah, Leo Biao might be willing. Trade. Ooh. Who is he? Oh, he's a vassal. I can trade both of those quite comfortably. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Won't worry just yet then. Peace. One shoe. He's still desperate. Where's that army? Yeah, it's stuck. It is encamped. Even better. It means I can hunt them down. Oh, they're going to run. In we go to finish him off. It is a decisive victory. And skewered. We lost 367. Wounded. Dead. Dead. 
And I am going to ransom them. Captured officer. Okay, so we just get someone straight up. Cheng Yi. Just appeared straight away. Okay, well, you go with Sun Chen. Probably got enough to put someone into appointment spaces now as well. Sun Tzu, if we are done over here, we can finally send you off the Han Empire and claim the Western territories. Everything else is held for the moment. So we'll start moving you over here. Let you replenish on up. That one does corruption reduction. Or we can get 500 from industry. I think we should probably go for the corruption reduction. But before we go any further, um, where's the easiest ones to go after? There's a tool maker. Large town's right there. We can see the tool maker's garrison's pretty weak. So the tea house. Let's bring in Sun Chen. What else is available here, actually? say he's come from Dongming and then he was Leo Bei. I am thinking would he be a spy if it says past loyalties or is he he's just floating around I don't know he, I'm yeah he must be a spy hmm, potentially yeah, let's not recruit him then the emerald eyed administrator so, if faction leader, wealthy background, plus 50% income from family estates, uh, plus 25% cap out moot range starting in friendly sea regions, plus 10. Okay. Wow. Right, we'll recruit up the rest of his force. What special units can he get? Get the sword guard cavalry. We can already get them. Oh, whoa, they're expensive. Okay, um, just get two of them to start with. And then mercenary infantry. How long are you guys going to take to be ready? Two turns. Don't have enough to get two mercenary infantry. We can get saber. Just get sabers for now. We forget okay, this guy, he's just come up through the ranks, I assume. He just joined our cause. Could bring Lu Su in as actually, because we've not utilized him yet. Let's bring him in next turn. Oh, he's currently on assignment, damn. Um how much that's giving us extra income like to get Lusu utilized because he's just been sitting there for quite a while. There's Wu Fan, but that also potentially looks pretty spy. -y. I think we'll bring in Lusu. So. We lose, we lose a fair bit, I would have thought, from cancelling him out here. He's going to come on back. Yeah, we lost like 300 income. That's fine, though. Yeah, build you guys up. Yeah. What have we got? We have got Copper Vein, the Salt Mines, also Industry. We've got industry income from here, government workshops. We could convert that over for the corruption. Income from commerce. Commerce from the port. 
Yeah, that's not that's not bad. Uh, when we upgrade the city next and get another slot, we'll want the private workshops. So yeah, that all looks all looks fine. Um, considering putting me someone in here, Grant Excellency. Think about Lady Wu. Again, that that cost we when we want to build up troops. I mean, income from industry faction Y plus fifteen percent is quite nice, but I think I'd rather have the income right now until I take a couple more regions. I can just boost up my income a smidge more. You want eavesdropper? Cover cost for spies. Um. Have a little lucky here negotiation. We can get more money if we do. Per turn. Boom. You can have it. It's yours. Bandit Queen gonna be able to move on there. She brought the other army. I know the other army was already in there. Might move on him. Whoa! Liu Bei just vassalized Dong Min. Wow. Kong Rong joined a war alongside Yuan Shao against the Antarctic Rebellion. Against Yi, they've gone to war against the Bandit Queen. Quest for independence. Remember, Ministry seeks a chance to strike out on their own, establish their own faction. As such, they request the right to form an autonomous vassal state, continue to serve as your loyal subject. Uh, wow, okay, didn't know that was a thing. I don't want them taking that town. That's a, that's a really good town. Um, deny independence. They were angry. Your plans were more important. Yeah. Um, is he a little bit upset now because of that? Denied independence. That's pretty cool. They can ask to form independence. I guess they might, if they're not satisfied, they might pull away from me. Interesting. We've got new reform, which we're going to go for that mustering turn reduction. And then we could actually, yeah, iron and salt. And the yellow stuff. And then I'll probably come back through green. Creative and trusting. Trader. Character developments. Yeah, we've got that food trader in here. Does that make it minus eight? Minus eight. Ah. So what does that do? It... Minus eight. We still get effects from total plus eight percent. Next season consumption. Minus eight total. So it doesn't actually matter that we're, that we're negative here. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's kind of an odd building that I've got in here anyway. It should be more commerce stuff. But that's that's good to know to be able to upgrade that one. As long as we don't run out of food total, we're okay. Good to know. You see, let's pop you in. And... What have we got for you? We've got fire arrows and retinue and night battles already. Ceremonial swords, the best I can give you. Robes, the best you've got. Cunning. A little bit more. Morale. Yep, sure. Give you authority. Um, we can obviously have trebs. Trebs are fun. Um, crossbows on range, but archers flaming shot. Good for burning down any towers if we come up against any mines and stuff. Um, so for now, let's just go for archers. Yeah, five of them. Can we make your full army? We could pull this guy in and we'll have a green in there. You guys let me know who we should add in here. Should we go for another champion? Or not? 
me down in the comment section because I think that's where we'll wrap things up for now. So our plan in two turns time, although I might actually swap you guys to... Yeah, I'm going to swap you guys up to these guys. Damn, I don't have quite enough money, but... Should be able to swap next turn. But I've got Sword Guard. The rest of the army will stay the same. The yeah, plan is with Sun Chen to sail him on round and strike Leo Bay. Capture the Emperor. And then we can just annex on Empire territory. Because we'll control them. Um, so... With that being the case, as I thought, I've not pieced out with Yuan Shu. Could piece out with him. Um, Liu Biao is Battle of Yuan Shu. He doesn't like me. I was just thinking, if, if we're going to go for the Emperor, what's the point of me spending men and blood to take these Han Empire territories when I can just annex them? Why not go after... You know, Biao or even Yuan Shu, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Well, we're going up towards Duke. That is good. But we'll ponder all that and more for the next episode. So, until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in John the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, and QT. Till the next one. Ciao for now.